Triple shot weave is the name of our next uh, drill. We're going to break down the alignment here on the court. We're going to start out, you got at least nine players to run this drill. You can see the drill starts with number one with the basketball. He's going to have two players with him and uh, we're ready to go down the floor. We've talked about it being called a triple shot weave. They are going to weave uh, down the court in a three-man weave looking to score at the other end. When they get down to the other court, there's going to be three players waiting. Four and six have basketballs. Five in the middle does not. Uh, this group down here underneath the basket, seven, eight, and nine, same thing. Seven has a basketball, nine has a basketball, eight does not. And we start the drill going in this direction. Okay, in our next segment, we'll show you how the drill goes up and down and how we complete it uh, with rotations, passes, and shots. Okay, now let's show you the rotations and how the players are going to move down the floor in the triple shot weave. No need to get too confused with the lines here. This is simply a three-man weave, which most coaches have already uh, done with their teams, or at least at the early level uh, in junior high or elementary basketball. But we want to do a three-pass, three-man weave here. Number one's going to pass to number two and follow behind his man. Number two will pass to number three and follow be behind his man. Number three makes the third pass and final pass to number one, cutting all the way to the basket for the layup. As I said, we have two running to this wing, and now we have three running to this wing. Six, uh, four and six have a basketball for a reason now. Here, when they get to the wing, number six is going to make a good hard pass to uh, number two cutting for the jump shot. At the same time, number four is going to make a good hard pass to number three coming in for the shot uh, on the wing. After they pass, they're going to sprint out and work on a good closeout on the defense, uh, playing defense on the shooter. Number four is also going to pass and sprint out and close out on the shooter and get his hands up. So now we're working against not only catching and shooting in transition, but catching and shooting against defense. You're also working on your good sprints and closeouts on the shot. Okay, now as soon as uh, two and three take their shot, it's their job to get the rebound and get off the court. Uh, number one, who shoots the layup, number five will now step in and get his rebound and now, six, after they close out, they're ready to go down the floor. Four is ready to go down the floor. Five will make the pass, and now they'll three-man weave down to the other side of the court. Okay, so we've seen now uh, the three players have weaved down the court. Four and six have closed out on the shooters. Uh, two and three have taken their jump shots, got their rebounds, and got off the floor. One, he shot his layup and, and got off the floor. Five got the rebound. Six and four have already started their closeouts. They're already ready to go down the floor in the three-man weave. After they close out, they're going to be ready to catch the pass from five. So four, five, and six will now do a three-pass, three-man weave down the court, the same thing that uh, the first group did, one, two, and three on the way down the floor. So five, six, uh, and four run their three-man weave, three passes. Five will be getting the layup down here, and again, repeating the same action that four, five, and six did. Uh, nine and seven will now ready to be passing the ball to four and six uh, for the closeout jump shot while five shoots the layup, and now eight gets the ball out of the net, and those players are ready to begin uh, the three-man weave down to the other end of the court. And, of course, there's three players waiting down there to repeat this process. And that concludes now how you'd run the triple shot weave. Triple shot weave is another one of those great drills where you're really combining a lot of different skills. You're certainly always working on conditioning in these fundamental factory drills, but what's great in this drill, especially uh, for your team that likes to get up and down the floor, you're working at passing and catching at high speeds without turning the basketball over. You're getting work on your layups, 
Plus, you're getting work on your mid-range to three-point jump shots from your wing shooters. You're working on good closeouts uh, and contesting shooters. So players are getting game-like conditions, not only defensively, but offensively. And again, the drill continues to move, which means it's great conditioning, great game-like skill work for your team.